Hello everyone. After the JE advanced results are out and the JOSA counseling starts, students are often faced with a number of difficult choices and questions. Questions like whether to go for a non-circuital branch, meaning a department like mechanical, civil, chemical, aerospace, metallurgy in an older IIT or to go for a circuital branch like the computer science and engineering department, uh, the electrical engineering department or the electronics department in a newer IIT. Similarly, the question can take the form of going for a non-circuital branch in, uh, in, a, in a IIT versus a circuital branch in an NIT or some other form or some other variant of these questions. So the nature of the questions is such that uh, it is not possible to give a direct answer to it. Anybody who pretends to give a direct answer to these questions is actually lying to you. Okay, so uh, because of the individual nature of these questions, what I'm going to do in this video is that I'm going to present to you certain facts and certain important considerations with the help of which uh, you can come to an informed decision in facing these questions and uh, go forward with your JOSA counseling choices. So uh, let us uh, address these questions one by one. Uh, please note that sometimes it also happens that students are also confused a little bit about the emotional nature of, uh, of a certain question like whether to uh, sacrifice a seat in an IIT for uh, a more desirable branch uh, in some other institute with the emotional notion being that after so much hard work being invested for JE Advanced, when they are finally getting some seat in IIT, should they sacrifice it? There is that extreme emotional component to it. So in this video, I'll try to uh, somehow present some discussion regarding that also. So first of all, some of the direct questions. Uh, how to go about considering and thinking about those. So uh, the first, first and foremost thing which you have to understand and ask yourself is what is your desire? This is very, very important. If you identify for yourself and when I say identify, I mean that really, really isolate for yourself in a very concentrated fashion. What is your desire and not being swayed by what the media hype is telling you or what any other uh, influencer so to speak is telling you so you ask yourself what is your desire whether you really want to go for a certain department if that desire is strong enough i would say that listen to that the, uh, the 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 logic behind this is see if you go to a department which you really really desire to study in a reasonably good institute maybe it is not your dream institute it is most likely going to be the case that you are going to enjoy studying it. Now, it may also so happen that down the line, maybe after uh, three or four semesters of study, it may happen that you absolutely do not love it. Okay, it's not that you dislike studying the department. It may turn out to be like that because once you get into the nitty gritty details of a, of a certain departmental coursework, it may turn out that the kind of expectation you had of that department, it is not true. But at the end of the day, what will happen is that you will be satisfied with the fact that you had taken the decision yourself and not by listening to anybody else, whether it was your parents or God forbid, some kind of coaching institute uh, person. Okay, so when, when such a thing happens that even if you're a little bit unhappy with your department, but you know for a fact that it, is, it was your choice to begin with, uh, my understanding uh, of from whatever I have seen of students is that they would maybe a little bit unhappy, but they will not get depressed about it. They will not blame anybody else for it. That just what, what could possibly have happened if they had not listened to that, uh, to such and such a person and maybe just listened to their heart. At least that satisfaction will be there that you listen to your heart and went forward with it. Okay, there is, this is very much a, an important part of being an adult that you take a decision, you stick to it and you also face the consequences of that decision. Okay, the next point is that uh, this is this is relatively rare when students have that strong a desire that uh, that they go against the grain uh, and 
choose some department on their own. The more common scenario is that students are not at all sure about what they want. Okay, they don't even know what their desire is. So in this kind of a situation, there is a great temptation to just go to close their eyes and just go for the more famous institute. I would say this would be a big, very big mistake. So pause a little bit if you're in this stage and do a little bit of research on your own. I've already mentioned this in a similar video regarding JOSA counseling I'd made in the previous year, but uh, I would like to emphasize it here even more that if you're in this kind of a scenario, please go to the website of the different the websites of the different departments in any good institute, whether it is the IITs, the NITs, most of us have our uh, course curriculum posted on our websites. You go to these websites and just check the curriculum. Okay, and you may be pleasantly surprised by what you find in the different departments. Why I'm saying this is that it is my common experience that uh, students often have a misunderstanding, a misconception, a very, very strong mis misconception about certain departments. Most common example is the chemical engineering department. Okay, I'm myself not from chemical engineering, but this is, this is usually quite common. People think that chemical engineering has a lot, of, lot to do with chemistry. That is not true. Of course, there is a little bit of chemistry. There's a little bit of chemistry in every department, maybe a little bit more in chemical engineering, but there's a lot and a lot of physics. There's a lot more physics in chemical engineering than there is chemistry. Okay, people do not realize it and there's a lot of mathematical modeling involved, there's a lot of experimental work involved, which is ultimately physics based. Okay, so people do not realize this. They just hear the word chemical and they get swayed by it and they never fill this choice. So I would suggest strongly that you please go to the department uh, of the different, uh, of the different, uh, the, the website of the different departments and um, make an informed decision. Learn, try to, try to find out what they're teaching. Uh, similarly, in mechanical engineering, it is not only about mechanics, there's a lot of thermodynamics, there's a lot of fluid mechanics, uh, there's a lot of manufacturing which uh, you probably do not have any exposure to in your uh, plus two studies. Uh, uh, furthermore, I would still, I would like to point out that uh, computer science, everyone's dream uh, department, uh, many people just blindly, if they have a good enough rank, they blindly go for computer science without realizing that computer science is not only about programming. Okay, it also sometimes happens that students have been exposed to some kind of uh, programming experience in school uh, and based on that if they have been, uh, if they have been, uh, if they found some interest in programming, they just go for it, uh, thinking that computer science will be all about it. Computer science, see, so the computer science and engineering department, the computer science part especially, will have a lot of maths, okay, and the maths that will not be the calculus kind of maths, rather it will be the pure maths kind of maths, so combinatorial maths, where you will have to be really strong in things uh, involving permutations and com combinations, probability, uh, discrete mathematics, uh, these, sorts of, see, these sort of things. And not everyone's brain is attuned for that kind of thinking. It may be very much possible that a student who has not managed to get a high enough rank uh, may be very good in those kinds of things and a student who had got, got a very high rank uh, in JE Advanced may not actually be very properly suitable for that kind of a thing. So you have to make an informed decision. There's also the flip side to it that uh, it's, it's quite, uh, it's rather interesting that, uh, and this I'm telling from uh, an experience that I had with one of my juniors. He was in the computer science department. Eventually he did very, very well in computer science and engineering. He went on to do his PhD. Uh, he told me, uh, he, and naturally, I mean, he, he had a very high rank. He was in the computer science and engineering department of IIT Kharagpur, so you can understand. He told me that, uh, and his friends also told me that uh, he was not particularly strong in mechanics. So had he been in mechanical engineering, he would not have uh, been able to perform that well. Okay, so everyone's mind is not attuned similarly. Okay, so it is extremely important that you sync up your desire, your abilities and with what you really want uh, going into your undergraduate studies. But even after all these considerations, you find that you are still not sure. Okay, it could happen that you are still not sure about what you really desire, uh, which department you want to choose. Uh, you may still be tempted to just go for a higher ranked institute, understandably so. But my advice here is that please, please be aware uh, of the fact that if you happen to choose a an institute, sort of dream institute for you, 
just by going into some random department where you absolutely do not have any um, uh, interest in studying you will be absolutely trapped you will feel trapped uh, for the next four or five years and please please do not commit this mistake of uh, of consoling yourself that you will join a department and then hopefully at the end of the first year you will go for a department change there have been innumerable such cases where people have come with that hope and then unable to change the department they have actually gotten trapped in that department where they did not have any intention of studying okay so this is a very very sad scenario please please do not fall into this trap of the hope of a department change if it happens great okay if it happens absolutely great but please please do not make your choice based on that hope it is much better that you sacrifice the the that dream uh, of going to a particular institute and choose some other institute where you get a department which you reasonably want to have have some uh, have some desire of studying i would also like to point out one very important fact which people uh, which students at your age sometimes do not understand across the different iits and the nits and a lot of the other colleges also the nature of the syllabus is quite common the textbooks are mostly similar the curriculum is mostly similar the time that you have that will have because they are all semester based systems uh, in each semester to study these subjects they are also more or less the same okay so if you are going into if the choice is between a very famous institute and a uh, in not as famous an institute uh, if it is a at least an old classical institute properly established one and it has proper facilities there will be absolutely not much difference between uh, the kind of education that you will receive however there are certain subtleties to consider okay and this is where i believe the emotional part of people come into play a lot of the emotions of students is invested with the dream of uh, getting a seat in iit now in many of the videos that you will find on youtube many people mention that iits are what they are not because just of the name or the name of the iits is actually because of the students and there is a certain truth in it because uh, over and over the years where uh, the kind of students who enter these institutes are extremely competitive extremely ambitious driven and they are living together in this uh, highly competitive environment they kind of learn from each other through their group activities through the various societies beyond the classrooms and uh, that's how this high quality culture comes into play there is absolute truth in it but at the same time you have to understand that uh, it's not that just because a group of students are coming to iit uh, this culture will be there only in the iits in some of the top notch nits also some of the newer nit uh, iits also this kind of a culture does exist okay so this this maybe some kind of programming uh, culture or uh, maybe a culture of uh, participating in open source projects or some kind of aviation clubs uh, uh, or maybe in some kind of non technical things also there will be lots and lots of activities so you can very much be a a part of a high quality academic and non academic culture beyond the classrooms uh, in the uh, in, in 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 places which are not iits also but then why is why do people still keep on taking the names of uh, the iits so much is there something extra there well if you think about only the undergraduate level uh, maybe there is it is debatable okay but i would say and this is my very personal opinion what really distinguishes the iits and certainly iisc is that uh, what happens 
beyond the undergraduates or in the transition between the undergraduate and the higher level studies because you see uh, some of the most uh, driven uh, some very experienced faculty are present in the IITs it is a fact okay the selection procedure of the faculties themselves in the IITs is extremely extremely rigorous so what happens is that if a student is actually academically oriented he will get an opportunity to work with some very experienced faculty in areas of research which are absolutely cutting edge this is this is this can be very very exciting this can be very very fulfilling and uh, this can give a very unique experience to the student which can be a, a great launching pad for a career in higher studies in academia and research so this was on the research side on the teaching side also which probably does not get too much mentioned by any media but i know for a fact because i have been a student uh, in an iit i have been a teacher for quite a few years now uh, you see my feeling is that there are some really really dedicated teachers in the iits i'm not saying that such kind of teachers do not exist in the nits but my personal opinion is that in the IITs, there are some really, really good teachers. I'd like to give a very simple example here. You take up any topic about which you do not know anything. Okay. So, uh, when you try to learn anything about that topic, definitely you are going to pick up two, three textbooks. Maybe you're going to watch a few videos. I also have to do certain things like this, that even at this age, especially when I am involved in some kind of interdisciplinary research, so starting from the very basic level, I want to uh, get up to speed on that topic. So I also try to learn like that. But I have found out that no matter how much I study, how much I try to collect information from the various sources, textbooks, videos, etc. If I happen to talk to a colleague and I had another IIT faculty just for about half an hour or one hour, the kind of information that I can actually learn from them is just unparalleled. And uh, uh, students who are at the IITs probably they do not realize this when they are learning from such kind of teachers in the classroom they are not just getting as part of the the syllabus which is definitely common across the different institutes just the things uh, which may be written in one single textbook the kind of things that they are learning is collected and collated from a number of different sources plus in addition to that the teachers are putting in uh, they are pouring into it their research experiences in those topics okay sometimes and and quite a few times actually they are going and extending the things which are beyond the textbooks and i'm not just saying here that they they mention some some cutting edge research uh, as some kind of an uh, advertisement for the topic uh, or some kind of a motivation i'm actually saying some hardcore things which will not be found in any textbook but because they have done hardcore research in that they know how to present some new kind of things uh, in, the, in, in these topics so you will definitely have that advantage also so if someone is really really academically interested wishes to, uh, to become an academician then yes I believe uh, coming to IITs will make a difference but if it is just a job that you want at the end of the day then maybe uh, go for some other kind of considerations also so these are the broad points i wanted to discuss uh, uh, i'm sure there will be many other uh, con uh, confusing questions i welcome you all to uh, to write them down in the comments i'll try my best to answer them and uh, if i find there are some important some rather important points which i have not discussed in this video then maybe i'll try to make another video uh, to dispel some of the wrong notions and maybe discuss some other important considerations so with all this uh, i'll thank you and i'll wish you all the very best in uh, your in, in taking an informed choice uh, in your josa counseling thank you very much all the very best